Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fractal 101. My name is Alex. Thank you so much for joining me. Now that we've dialed in our clean tone with our amp and cab, with our reverb block at the end, it's time to look at the delay block. So as you can see, we've defaulted to a digital mono delay. We are at stock settings, and it sounds like this. Cut and dry, very simple. Again, we are running in series, and so to affect our mix level is to affect our delay sound. If we want more of the delays coming through, we turn the mix up. If you're at 50%, you have half dry, half delay signal. It's a lot. And in series, you would probably not need to do that. Our level, again, is not the level of our delay, but it is the level of total output from all previous tones coming into the delay block out into the next block, which is the reverb block. If we are really liking where that's sitting in the mix, but we need more repeats. You would turn up the feedback, which also works as a repeats synonym. We were at 10%, now we're at 43. We can turn that up even higher. It allows for really cascading dramatic effects. We can change our milliseconds manually. So we're at 500. We could go down to 200 if we like. We could go all the way up to 16 seconds. Very, very powerful. Now, a lot of us play to a click or to songs with very particular BPMs. And so we can save our BPM up here by typing it in and hitting save. And then we can actually quantize our delays to that click, which is quite incredible. Say you need to do a dotted eighth delay. Select eighth dot, use a reference if you're not playing to a recording, such as the Tempo app, which I love using as a metronome. And you'll get this sound. Really wonderful for a lot of different contexts, but you can change that to any quantization. Quite usable and quite friendly. We have several different delay types here in the FM3 and even more in the FM9 and the Axe FX3, but plenty to deal with here. Again, do not be afraid to look up the Fractal Wiki page for all of the delay types as they'll explain many of these and how they work. It's a great way to learn about all these different delays you may have never owned or heard. A graphite copy delay would be a carbon copy delay by MXR. You have dual delays, which is very cool. You could set a quarter note and a dotted eighth and have... Very powerful. Having two delays in one, you can go in change the ducker, which means when you hit the delay, your clean tone will duck the delay, and as it doesn't feel any transients, it'll bring that out. Very powerful. If you're playing a lot of fast notes, you want that delay not to muddy things up. Very cool. You can add modulation to your delays. You can EQ your delays. There's so many options, but for now, it's really nice to just dial in a very specific delay for what you're trying to use, maybe for a lead tone or a clean 
to just liven things up a bit. And you can do so just as you dial in a reverb using your mix to change the level of the delay, the level staying at unity, and then diving in to the tempo parameters or the feedback controls. Now you can also, just like a reverb, run your delay in parallel. All right, now we are looking at the delay running in parallel. So we have our clean, unaffected signal, and then we have our delayed signal. So our mix is brought up to 100%. Our level is brought to taste for how much of that delay signal we want. And our bypass mode is set to mute in. So we're not muting and getting double clean signal running through. And that would sound like this. Maybe we want an even amount of delay for that effect. Very cool. That covers it for the basics of the delay block. You can now dial this in for your cleans, maybe a rhythm for a special effect, or even for lead tones to spice things up a little bit. If you enjoyed this video, check out more videos on Fractal 101. We have a playlist at the end of this video. There's also a Tutorials of Tone playlist and plenty of other videos on the channel that'll help you dive into your Fractal product. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. We'll see you all in the next video.